what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video this is gonna be interesting because I'm gonna be showing you the latest Shia Troid ROM version 7.9 official build based on Android 11. This is the 15th August 2021 build and this is a whole new experience with this particular ROM. I'll show you why but let me tell you I have done a previous video on the 7.8 version of the Shia Troid ROM. You can check it out from the cards if you want to see the customization because today in this video I'm gonna skip the customizations part so that you can see all the customizations from the previous video I made. But here, let me show you what's new with the Sierra Droid version 7.9. If you look at the change logs, you will see a lot of stuff. But the most important thing is the second point. That is added MIUI camera port by default. Also, this particular build comes with two separate versions. One is with the GApps and one does not include the GApps. So that is the vanilla build. So you can go with any one of them. But I have, of course, went with the GApps included build. Of course, I'll link everything like the how to flash guide and this ROM files link. Everything will be present in the description. The whole ROM includes the GApps and of course, the file size is within 1 GB. That's just awesome. If you're coming from a OSS vendor based ROM like AeroOS, make sure you flash this particular firmware. Everything again will be listed in the description. Do not worry. This is the firmware vendor, of course, and the file size is about 730 MB. You can find it in the description again. In the about section, this is how it looks like. We have the CR Droid logo up top. We have the device name right here. And Android version is, of course, Android 11, as you can see. And the CR Droid version shows as 7.9. The security patch is latest of August 5th, 2021. And the stock kernel here is the Sigma kernel version 1.0 and the build date here is 15th August 2021 and you can also see the build number right here. Now in the system panel this is how it looks like we have the updater settings right here. You can check for updates from right here and let me go back. We have the gesture settings from here we have the prevent ringing and quickly open camera that's it but you get the navigation kind of customization in the customization panel. Now the system profiles, you can turn it off if you want to. The Gboard is the default keyboard here. So right now, let me just get back to the home screen. This is how it looks like. And of course, I have been using this wallpaper from the Wallpi app. I'll list that below too. But let me show you how this has changed. Well, the stock launcher was OnePlus launcher earlier, but right now that's not the case. Or right now, you don't get the Oxygenous launcher by default here. Because the stock launcher right now is the Sierra Droid home launcher, if you're noticing. And if you go into the settings of the stock launcher, you can see there is the MISC settings where you get the hidden and protected apps. Then the developer option and stuff. Let me go back. We have the app drawer as well. So you can like change the opacity of the background and stuff. Let me go back. We have the home screen settings. There you find the show Google app, Google search bar. Then the alternative style is there. And we have this random message option and we have the show now playing option and the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen is there. Let me go to the icons and here we have the icon size, the font size and the max line for app label and stuff changing option. And we have the icon packs changing option too. So you can add any icon that you will use and the notification dots also you can enable from right here. Let me go back. This stock launcher is amazing because it is running very smoothly. If you are noticing everything everywhere in the stock launcher is amazingly smooth. And of course, to the left of the home screen, we get the Google's discover page still and swiping down anywhere in the home screen, you get the quick setting panel and swiping up gets you to the app drawer and you can search for any particular apps over here. That is not a problem. Also, the widgets in the home screen are working totally fine. No issues with that. Now, let's talk about the like quick setting panel. And if you want to edit and add more toggles, you can do that. As you can see, these are the toggles and you can add pretty much plethora of toggles over here. Let me show you what I have added. So here I have the battery saver, then the dark theme and the screen recorder is also there. You can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time with the screen recorder. No issues with that. And of course, we have the hotspot, the do not disturb, the data saver, and we have the heads up disabling option, the nearby share option, always on display, you can toggle it off from here. Also, the sound toggle is there. So if you tap and hold on it, you get the volume panel just like this. And you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from this toggle, of course. And the FPS info also shows up if you're noticing. So right now, I'm getting about 100 plus FPS, of course. If you're noticing on the top left of the screen, the FPS info does show up over here. And there is the reboot toggle too. So you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot. If you just tap and hold on it when you when it says recovery, you can just directly reboot to the recovery. Also, just the volume panel toggle is there and the live display option is there. So you can turn on the night light mode from here with the live display toggle itself. And this actually works fine. No issues with that. Then the power menu option is there. So if you tap on it, as you can see, the power menu appears. And of course, the Google smart home controls with the power menu works fine. And in the power menu, if you tap on power, you get this power off and restart. When you tap restart, if you have the advanced reboot enabled, all these four options. So you can directly reboot to the system, then the recovery, then the fast boot or the bootloader option. 
and we have the screenshot option as well over here in the power menu and the DC dimming you can toggle it off or on from here also the high refresh mode you can toggle it like if you want to put your display to 60 Hertz you can toggle that from here but I have been using it of course with the 120 Hertz mode so yeah that's how the quick setting panel looks like now let me talk about the camera itself of this particular ROM the stock camera over here well the icon looks pretty disappointing right this looks like a snapdragon camera icon when you open it you will see it has the MIUI camera over here that is just amazing and I did not expect it to be there like this but yes right now we get the stock camera by default as the MIUI or ANX camera over here this is amazing all the things like the 0.66 or wide angle lens is working super fine even the 2x telephoto is working fine if you switch to the front camera as you can see it is also working fine even with the portrait mode the front camera is working totally fine no issues whatsoever and let me show you if you switch to the 64 megapixel mode and if you take a photo let me actually show you let's go to the details of it and as you can see if you look at the width and the height this is a 64 megapixel photo the file size is about 16 mb and right now if i zoom it in okay so this part all right so if you're noticing the details over here is amazing so yeah the 61 megapixel shots are actually working flawlessly no issues with that and if you go into the pro mode of course you can enable this video pro mode and stuff with that you can record 4k 30 fps manual videos with this you can adjust the white balance as you're liking and even the focus iso everything you can change from here so this is great that we can use this manual 4k 30 fps camera and stuff so amazing experience over here with the camera i would say and even with the video as you can see i have the 4k 30 fps option even with the front camera video you have the 1080p 30 fps option and stuff so yeah no issues whatsoever with the stock camera so you do not have to install magisk anymore to actually flash the anx camera version 190r you get this by default on this particular rom i did not even flash magisk over here because of that reason also if you're worried about the safety net test and stuff the safety net passes right out of the box no issues with the banking apps that you will face over here also the drm info stays as l1 if you're noticing so if you want to stream netflix or amazon prime videos in tnb that should not be a problem here and i have also tested the ir blaster with this particular app and here the ir blaster actually is working fine no issues with that if you're noticing that ir blaster blinking now one more thing that i want to talk about over here is the camera notch let me show you earlier in the previous build i think it was not there well in the punch hole camera if you're noticing there is a little bit of black border but once you're using the front camera the black border increases and that actually prevents it from having that glow from the screen so let me actually show you once you're using the face unlock or something that's when you will see it is appearing so if you're noticing right now it is trying to unlock with the face unlock so if you're noticing on the camera side there is that black border so if you're having a video call or something or if you're doing a video call that will prevent the front camera from having that glow over here on your face or something also let me show you the finger width scanner speed right now as you can see i'm double tapping on the home screen and this is how the always on display looks like so yes you can double tap on the always on display and that will bring you the lock screen of course and here let me show you the finger width scanner speed it is fairly fast let me show you one more time so yeah the finger width scanner is not a problem over here very reliable finger width scanner experience i would say so no issues whatsoever with the finger width scanner that i have faced it unlocks 100 percent of the time mostly so again no issues whatsoever with the finger width scanner now i don't have a sim card in the device yet but i would say the vaulty calling and stuff should be working flawlessly you should not worry about those and if you're wondering about the recent panel this is how it looks like we have the screenshot right here you can share the screen from here you can close a particular app with this toggle and you can like clear all the apps with this particular toggle and if you tap here you can go to the split screen or pin a particular app with that in the battery settings this is how it looks like we have this kind of animation on the battery like settings and if you tap here you can get to see the full battery usage the battery life should be good enough you should not be having any issues whatsoever with the battery life i would say and the fast charging as well is working fine if your battery temperatures are like cooler than 35 degrees and here if you go into the thermal profiles you can set per app to this default benchmark browser camera dialer gaming youtube etc options and we have the battery saver and performance you can enable extreme power saver mode if you want to now we have the last full charge the screen on time right here and the battery temperature shows up as well but the disappointing thing is that we cannot see the charging cycle or the current battery capacity design battery capacity those things are simply missing from the battery settings i would have loved to see those but those are simply missing from this particular rom in the display settings this is how it looks like we have the brightness level the dark theme 
and we have the adaptive or auto brightness and in the live display we have these many color profiles i don't know what these does but i did not tweak it much so yeah and we have the display mode you can have it on day night and automatic mode and we have the reading mode and stuff that will make the whole display grayscale and the color calibrations are there so you can have the rgb control and the picture adjustment you can control the hue saturation intensity and contrast of the screen and inside styles and wallpapers this is where you get the like accent colors so for the accent colors you actually have to create a custom theme then you can choose between these many fonts as you can see plethora of fonts are there no issues whatsoever that you will find with the customization in this room it has huge amount of customizations and you can also get to choose the icons then we have the accent colors and just notice how many accent colors are there pretty much all the yellows or all the oranges and stuff all the greens that you will get over here this one pretty much has huge amount of accent color customizations you won't feel lonely with the accent colors pretty much i would say so yeah huge amount of customization with the accent colors i did not have any issues but you have to create a custom theme with that accent color if you want to actually enable that and in the wallpaper section these are the wallpapers that you will get we have this kind of wallpapers and of course you can enable whatever you like so pretty great kind of stock wallpapers that you will get in this particular rom also we have up to 6 by 6 grid if you want to enable those and in the clocks we have these mini lock screen clocks now again the thing is there is no android 12 kind of lock screen clock but we have this fluid option then we have the oxygen with sneaky and the tux option so yeah these options are there and some some colored then we have the bubble and stuff analog type etc but again no android 12 kind of clock at least as of right now with this particular build and we have the screen timeout right here you can have it on 30 minutes if you want to and we have the rotation settings like 180 degree rotation and stuff and we have the dpi changing option the full screen apps you can force particular apps to full screen in the lock screen we have the lock screen pulse and the display media cover art and stuff double tap to wake is there wake up on plug you can disable it if you want to enable blurs option is there so whenever you are pulling down your notification shade or the quick setting panel the background will get blurred and it looks beautiful and we have the device specific settings from here you can switch the display to 120 hertz or 60 hertz that's great and we have the dc dimming right here so yes the dc dimming option is working fine i did not have any problems with it in the sound settings this is how it looks like we have this kind of logo right there and we have the media volume etc options and again you can customize the volume panels and stuff if you want to in from the customizations panel and the dial pad tone screen locking sound etc you can disable or enable and the touch vibration as well and we have the mi audio dirac with that you get the youth edition and stuff sound quality for the headphone jack is amazing even with bluetooth the sound quality is great in the sound presets we get all of these presets and the hi-fi audio enabling option is also there So I have completed the setup of the face unlock already. Let me show you how the face unlock works. So you just double tap on the always on display and it will start detecting your face like it will start finding your face. So yeah, if you point the device towards your face, it will unlock right away. As you can see, the face unlock speed is amazing. No issues whatsoever. Let me show you one more time. So right now I'm not pointing the device on my face. So right now if I point it towards my face, let me actually show you. This is how the face unlock works. and the face unlocking speed is very good no issues whatsoever that i have faced talking about the app lock this is the similar app lock that you get in most roms right now and we have the lock app after instantly 15 seconds or screen off option you can choose between three and of course you can lock any particular app from here you can hide the notification the app lock is working perfectly fine i have had no issues with that and we have the app locker like searching option you can search for any particular app just like this so yeah you can lock this youtube app from right here if you are searching for it so yeah The app lock is working perfectly fine again and if you open the app which is locked it will show like this and you can use the pen your fingerprint or the face data so right now if i tap the fingerprint scanner as you can see it unlocks so no issues whatsoever i have faced with app unlocking or app locking and in the google photos you are getting this unlimited backup on this particular rom so that is great again but if you are wondering about the google assistant as you can see it shows this okay google is unavailable right now so that is something that i do not like on this particular rom that the google assistant is kind of disabled over here so you can't access it with the voice match but you can definitely trigger it by just swiping from the corners and that will work fine the rom is very fast and fluid and the ram management should be really good enough and here are the antutu and geekbench scores of this particular rom with a cpu stress test so let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the let's see android rom i think this is one of the best roms for the redmi note 10 pro out there pretty much in my personal opinion because it comes with the anx camera or the miui camera by default you don't have to install it separately you don't even have to flash magic just for the anx camera and stuff those things definitely makes this rom a lot 
better from the other ROMs and I think couple of other ROMs too are coming with the ANX camera as default camera as of right now. So if you're someone who actually needs the ANX or MIUI camera on your device, this is one of the best ROMs that you can get for the Redmi Note 10 Pro right now. That's what I think. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, share this video with your friends if you feel like. This is Cheeto from KD and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys next time. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Bye bye now.